Hey you guys, uh, finally getting to voicing over this crossover GB footage I have. Um, I, I really enjoyed this fight, so, so I'm glad I got the recording to work this time. Uh, the last time I tried to record crossover GB was actually against the same guild at the first fight of prelims, and um, it didn't turn out so well because I didn't press the recording button, so uh, this time around I managed to get things right. Uh, last time I was also lagging a lot worse, this time it was um, marginally better and slightly less buggy, um, so I'm glad that that, that worked out. And, uh, and we're fighting Envy Us from um, Wartoon.com server 50. Uh, I think they've had a ton of server merges as well, so this is definitely not just one server um, uh, anymore. They, uh, I, I think, they have a, a very large pool of really strong players on on that on that server, um, and uh, and this is definitely the strongest guild <laughs> of the bunch. Um, that said, we're also a really strong guild. We have a lot of um, t you know people over 300 kbr. Um, I would still say that Envy has maybe more than we do. Um, and, uh, and that was a huge disadvantage. The first time that we fought them, uh, just, we were really overpowered. Um, and, uh, this time I think we're missing, f we were missing fewer people. And so that definitely, definitely helped. Um, and, uh, well, fewer people who can, who can help with the totems and, and the guardian towers. But, um, but <laughs> that said, it's, it's kind of disappointing to, to fight this guild twice, um, not just because of, to, of, of pairings, but I have a lot of friends in this guild, um, who I've met, you know, just through, uh, crossover groups and, and seeing people in BG, I don't know if I've seen NKT anywhere in, in this battle, but, you know, I see him in, in BGs back when I actually did BG, and, um, you know, Chiprion is, is a good friend of mine, and, uh, I think a lot of you have probably seen me fi fight Smartass in, uh, in Class Wars Finals, so these are all people that I get along with, so it's, I find it a little bit unnecessary to have to, um, battle them twice. I was joking with Smartass, who I think is their guild master, that, um, I wish that both sides would just hold down two towers and not touch the fifth and <laughs> hit 10,000 points at the same time and see what happens. Um, my guess is that they would win just because, um, just because they have more BR, but uh, <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. So <laughs> if you want to take two guilds and agree to do that and tell me what happens, I will be really, really pleased with you. Um, I finally moved off that tower. It was a little boring, uh, so I sped through it. But I spent a, a good chunk of time just trying to guard that tower and um, and realized it was uh, kind of unnecessary at, at one point and si decided to go help out um, in this uh, northwest tower. Um, a lot of people consider this one really important just because it's very close to the crystals and kind of is the odd man out. You know, there are two, two towers, totem pairs. Um, that are close to each, uh, side's camp, and then there's this one in the middle, or sort of in the middle. And, uh, and so I'm using, uh, lasers right now, trying to take out that tank. When you are on a guardian tower, or when you're in a tank, do not just point willy-nilly. I mean, you can still, you know, press 1 to try and get, um, it is like tanks where it'll hit the, cl the closest target, but um, there's a chance that that person is in battle, in which case you should switch targets. You also really want to aim for the strongest people. So if you know you know who the high BR pe people are on the other side, you want to aim for them and get them low so that when they go into fights, they're at more of a disadvantage. And uh, you also want to attack their tanks to try and take them out. So uh, here we got a really strong group against uh, JGO, who's a very strong player, but at a huge disadvantage here, just because, you know, late night, Grimoth and myself are all over 300 KBR. Um, you know, Grimoth's our top knight, LK's, you know, close, or just, you know, very on par with, you know, being at the top, or the top archer on my server. And, uh, and Midori's still quite strong, at a little bit of a disadvantage here, just BR-wise. I also just noticed after I finally awakened um, for my first fight in this battle that I was using my Medusa. Um, I, I had put her on for God's Descent against an Electro boss in there, and I uh, forgot to switch to my Dark Pet. Um, so, not my brightest moment, but actually kind of fun uh, to, to see her in action here. You know, a, a lot of people, they don't really protect against wind, so um, it's kind of humorous to be able to <laughs> use her for once and um, and have it be sort of successful. Um, here, Smart Chim's pretty strong, so uh, it takes us a while. 
Um, at least in this case, we uh, we're on the tower, so we've have it, we have it claimed, and we're keeping JGO and and Smart Chim and and Tiger X didn't come in with HP, but he's pretty strong as well. Uh, but um, keeping some strong players busy. Um, that said, you know you don't want to to get caught in in fights too long, so uh, that that actually um, becomes a huge disadvantage to us later in the fight. But I'll I'll, I'll get to that. Um, but here, uh, Grimace also has a, a, a light pet. You know, when you're in a situation where you're doing a lot of group fighting, it's good to have an, a, a pet with AoEs. So uh, Medusa is not as bad of a choice here as, say, if I had brought my Hercules. Uh, I did do a Puri there earlier, thinking that that Chaos Rune was on Grimith for some reason, and um, it was actually on myself. You cannot Puri a, a Chaos Rune off yourself. Uh, it will just not work. Um, but it is a really, really great tool in, in a group setting, you know, if people get hit with a lot of, like, amnesia or, um, or chaos runes, but even dealing with things like incendiary shot, Apollo shield, um, or that MDEF reduction that Hercules does to a team, uh, you'd be really surprised what taking the time to puri can help with. So nice, nice win there. Um, I think I move on. Just because, or well, maybe I stay in the notebook it out. Um, so here we were really trying to, to hold down two totems as best we could. Uh, because we lost the first time and we felt like we were really at a disadvantage, um, our strategy at the beginning was really just to hold down two totems as best we could and push for a third. Um, you know, we really wanted to keep the points as close as possible and, uh, and get as many as we could before the, the fight ended. Um, so yeah, so right now it's about 4,200 to 3,600. So we're keeping it well within range. So we weren't feeling too bad about anything right here. Later on, we actually end up, um, getting quite a few of the totems. So, so we're doing really well. Um, here I get into a fight, uh, at the totem with Tiger X and, uh, and he's pretty, pretty strong. Um, held up quite nicely, especially um, for for using Herc, and I um, I had my Dark Pet with me, which is always tough and eats up mages. This is a really magey guild that we were fighting, <laughs> I must say. Um, uh, a lot of their strongest players are, are mages. Um, I didn't see Azrakhan, who I think, is, you know, he's won... Um, Oh, actually, I don't know if he's won. That might be a lie. Class Wars for Archers. Um, but uh, um, he, he's quite strong. I didn't see him, but I did see JGO. So they do have like a, a couple strong archers, but um, otherwise, very, very magey. Um, uh, which is which is always why, which is also why I'm surprised to see as many Hercs as as I uh, as I did. But um, a lot of mages pick pick Hercules just because uh, it's, it, he's just so much, if you have to pick one, he's uh, so advantageous in all of the PvE stuff in this game. But in this case, I think for PvP, Dark is still superior. Alrighty. So you see with the crystals, um, I didn't get any crystals because he wasn't holding any, but uh, as far as points go, you get five per kill. I think that's kind of stingy, especially, um, I don't I don't know how else you would go about it, but um, the people who really get a ton of points are the ones in the chariots or the tanks. And, um, and you know, you can kill a ton of people with those things. They're really powerful, and, uh, and you can take out a bunch of people. So, um, even so, uh, you should be very deliberate about who you're, who gets to be in a tank. Um, you know, if your fight is going to be super easy, um, then, then maybe you can give it to other people. But, uh, the, the people who should be in your tanks, um, should be the people who are good at tanks, the a actual tanks. And you wouldn't think that it necessarily would translate over just because tanks is tanks versus tanks or, um, but, but here actually being good at tanks is really important. One, you just want to make sure that, you know, people who are good at tanks usually don't lag a lot. Um, and so you don't want people who lag a lot. You want people who are really good at being targeted. So, choosing who 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 they're hitting not just you know spamming anywhere um and so you want very deliberate players to be in your tanks and you want those tanks supporting your tower so you want them 
um, doing a lot of damage to strong people on the opposing team before those p people can get to your towers or your totems um, to help support those groups that are protecting the totems. So here I think I'm, I'm heading over to this west, uh, west tower to help out. A lot of really great fights just because um, there, there are so many strong pl players on this team. One thing you do need to watch out for. Oh, here I'm with Shock. I don't know. I don't think Shock dies in this one. But you might see a little bit of my my ring bonus, my marriage ring bonus, if I, if I sh fight with Shock here. Um, but yeah, as a mage, you definitely have to watch your, your team's uh, health as you go into the fight, just because anybody can take damage from, from the tanks or from the guardian towers, and, uh, and you go in with whatever life you had uh, pre from your previous fight. It's kind of like BG in that sense. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, everybody should bring a heal rune, really. Um, only mages can get away with not bringing one, I think. And, um... And if you're a mage, you should really um, keep a good eye on, on your team's health at the beginning to see if you need to, to throw out a heal. I guess it's not that different from, from guild battle in, 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 in that respect. But guild battle, your, your HP does replenish after each fight. A lot of light cells. A lot of magical pets, which again, kind of surprising from... Such a magey guild, but I guess JG is an archer, so that would still make sense. Some players that were around, for, <laughs> some of the top players who, you know, top casher type type players, um, do have really strong Apollos from back when Apollo <laughs> was the the dominant self. But uh, you know, once Dark Pets and and Hercules came out, it's a really different story. So um, here I'm just telling Shock to, to stick around. You don't really need four people sitting in a guardian tower shooting things. Um, I think maybe two or three. You know, you know the main part is if you, you're perpetually getting attacked, then you need some people there. But um, but but really, just just for the laser portion of of things, it's it's a little overkill. Um, I was trying to go around supporting a bunch of different spots. Um, but eventually, things seem to be holding up pretty well in other areas uh, without me, and I try to, to spread out and, and help us get more towers and totems. Let's see here. We got Brock in the fight, very strong mage on our, on our server. Um, maybe doesn't cash as much as he used to, but um, uh, still very, very strong. Oh, Bash. That... You know, it's, it's all of this guild seems really familiar to me to a certain extent, just because I'm sure I see them cross server and things. But I'm terrible enough with names that 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 I don't. I'm you know, if, I'm, <laughs> if there's somebody I don't recognize, I apologize in advance. But I know so so much of this guild that it's it's kind of actually fun seeing everybody um, after the fact because you know when you're in the fight, you just you're not worrying too much about who you're fighting so much as you, you are focusing on, on winning each battle. Uh, so here they, they, they have a big totem advantage right now, but um, I think I try to get out and grab those totems pretty, pretty soon. Uh, you know, guardian towers are only so helpful uh, because the totems are what give the points. Um, every five minutes, it's <laughs> like an egg timer, the, the points will come out, and, uh, and it goes by how many... Um, totems are claimed, so you get some other little points from, like, killing people and, and such, but the, the vast, vast majority of the points uh, come from, from holding totems, and each totem is worth 400 points at each five-minute five, five minute interval. So if you have all five totems, um, when, when the points go out, you get 2,000 points, which is huge. And so, um, so really, when those timers hit, you really want to be the team with... With, with those totems. And it's not one of those things where you claim a totem and if you're there for a certain amount of time, you'll get this many points. It's definitely like whoever it is, even if they've only, even if you've only been holding the totem for like, you know, half a second, if you're the team holding that totem right when the points come out, that's what's that that's what matters. You could lose it, you know, 5 seconds after and it, and it doesn't matter. 
So we're back up to two totems. But I, oh, no, I just lost it. Just lost that north one. Um, it's really helpful to have this little map at the top. Um, I, I, I kind of wish uh, um, they would have that for regular guild battle. But um, at least they have it here, which this map is slightly more confusing. And, and it's more involved because you don't just have um, towers. You have towers and totems and, and such. So uh, that little map at the top right is really pretty helpful. And, um, and so we start to uh, actually claim a bunch of, of totems and uh, are doing pretty well to keep, keep things pretty even. This is a nice fight with, with Tiger X from, from what I remember. Pretty tough. Oh, and JGO came in with very little health, and I'm sure that's because he was attacked by the tower or something. Um, but that's, that's how important those guardian towers and having people, you know, actually... Uh, attacking efficiently, how important that is. All right, not bad at all. <laughs> Why can't you leave me alone? Sorry, I was just looking at the current chat. I know I, you know, at the time I was not paying attention at all. I was too busy um, on chat and stuff <laughs> on Ray Call, but um, I, <laughs> uh, I, I do know that Brock and Smartass were. <laughs> We're talking in current chat for an extended period of time throughout the fight. I don't know how they type and fight uh, efficiently, um, but I was, I'm was i not able to pull that off at all. It's the same thing when people say hi to me on a cross server. It, uh, it's not, I'm not intentionally trying to ignore you. It probably just means that I'm either goofing off or I'm, <laughs> I'm unable to type and uh, and play at the same time. So here I got into the fight, and I feel like I kind of rushed into it a little bit. Um, I, I was pretty concerned, uh, and uh, and I I wasn't getting any backup because this 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 tower I was kind of just going for and hoping that somebody would kind of come along, but it wasn't a priority tower for us at the time. Um, so yeah, <laughs> didn't quite go my way, but um, but uh, I do have a huge BR advantage on on. Pretty much every every one of these players, um, Music Man I think is is up there in BR, but uh, and Azeroth looks awfully familiar. But I I often <laughs> associate familiarity with BR, but that's not always totally sure. Uh, I uh, totally true. Um, but uh, I do have an AOE self. You know, if I had gone into this with her, I would have had more resistances, but it probably would have been a lot tougher to to pull off. And so, so that was a nice fight. Um, that's one of the cases where, the, you know, I was really glad to have Puri. I got rid of the the three uh, the thirty percent M def reduction that um, Okana had on me. Um, uh, so I, I found out that that, that Puri is a lot more useful. You know, I thought I would just be using it for chaoses and in, ca in case those were showing up, but uh, I really. Um, there are so many debuffs that can hit you, and especially when you're at a disadvantage. So, you know, it's one versus three. Like in those cases, the the debuffs on you can really add up, and so it's nice to be able to just pop a puree and at least get rid of a good chunk of them. Here, I was pretty. Sh this is the the guardian tower bug um, that I might have mentioned earlier um, that I was having trouble with. So I'm just trying to shoot. Um, Zabber here, who's a very strong player, but he might not even be there. It might just be lag or something because uh we get into the fight and i'm pretty sure he's not there um so yeah exactly so it's just azeroth and cruzier and uh i think somebody else shows up but um but i don't know i have zero clue what what was happening there and uh it continues later on and i just have to end up like leaving the guardian tower and going back so here i got some support from juliet which is which is nice to have a little a little backup. Um, he's going with. He has an AOE. It's always harder to tell. You know, usually if I'd see that AOE, um, I would just assume he's completely just DPS skills. Uh, but now you can have that AOE and have incendiary shot very easily with advanced skills. So I'm not totally sure. Yeah, exactly. So he has incendiary shot, which is good. Doesn't get it out though. But I have a guardian rune, which is 
probably the most OP. Um, well, okay. I would say Guardian Rune is the most overpowered single PvP rune. Maybe in a group context, it's not the best. You know, Chaos Rune is really ridiculous. Um, <laughs> pretty, pretty silly. But, um, uh, I, I still think Guardian Rune is fantastic. And, um, I, you know, I thought about bringing a Chaos Rune here, but I was, I, I was too chicken not to bring a, a, a Heal Rune. Um, so I ended up not bringing it. And it's, it didn't work out that, you know, it, it was fine. Uh, I think the only thing with my skill set that I, I might change next time around is maybe putting in Meteor instead of instead of Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire is nice and cheap, but it, I just can't use multiple AoEs very quickly um, with it, which was a little bit frustrating. So again, trying to attack Zabber, and he might just not be there, so I, I think I end up uh, getting out of the Guardian Tower. Or trying to use uh, one of these AoE skills. The the problem about the the AoEs is I don't think they actually do damage, or at least I definitely know that the what's the equivalent of like an ice cannon in tanks uh, it doesn't take away HP from people; it just slows them. Uh, so really, the the laser is the most important part because it actually inflicts damage. So I so I get out of there and I just go back in and grab it to to get into the fight. Um, and, and that seems to resolve things. Ooh, Juliet took <laughs> a pretty bad hit before um, I got in there. But, um, yep, the importance of being a mage and, and supporting your team. New face in here, 12 letters. Tw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why well, have a name called 12 letters if your name doesn't actually have 12 letters in it? That's no fun. Um, <laughs> so you're a little bit of AoE power. When I go into a, a group fight, I almost never bring Centauria, but I actually, mm, it's it's really useful. It's, Centauria is a super um, important heal, but for some reason I never prioritize bringing it myself, but Usually, you know, my, my personal PvP groups outside of, you know, crossover GB where, um, where it's more about having a more balanced group. I have, you know, at least one, if not two other mages with me. So there's a lot of mage things that I don't end up doing until, until all of a sudden I'm the only mage and I have to do all of them. <laughs> so here's Smartass comes, um, has a little fun with me, um, uh, which which is always nice to to fight her. Um, here it ends up being a little bit closer than say a, a class war setting, um, just because of of the team support. Um, she's also gotten way way stronger. Uh, <laughs> I think where I've fallen behind a lot cross server in strength, uh, a, a lot of my friends and just um, um, really like my whole server <laughs> seems to be catching up to me in BR. It's it's um. It's nice to see and also a little bit frustrating just because I feel like my BR has been really pretty stagnant lately. Um, but yeah, not much I can do there. Um, I am super careful about hoarding. I, I haven't spent, I only spend uh, hooves on my mount to, to refine up to one star and then I haven't gone past level 9 gems in my gear, so I don't know. We will see if there's anything I can crop up. Here I get some support from Katrina, which is great. I always like archer support, being able to get incendiary shots out. Um, I also think that the archer AoE Delphic, that 100 rage one, whose name something something Delphic Destroyer. No, that's 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 knights that are Delphic Destroyers. All right, the name is skipping me. However, it has a stun, which I really like. Uh, and in a, a PvP setting, especially a group PvP setting, can be really nice. So Smart finally has a fancy little dark pet, but uh, managed to edge her out this time.
this tower ends up being a big hot spot for a bunch of fights for me. Um, I, I wasn't totally expecting that, but maybe because um, because Envy had a uh, um, a whole bunch of uh, had, had kept that that tower and totem at the beginning for so long. Maybe they were trying to reclaim it um, again. Not totally sure. I <laughs> didn't actually end up asking about their strategy too much after the fact. There's that new, uh, God, what's it called? The new advanced skill for knights. Knights have definitely the most interesting advanced skills. I mean, just, just Mars will alone, I think, makes their, <laughs> their uh, advanced skills the, the most interesting. Here's Zabber, very, very strong. That's the other archer I was missing. Does this kill, does enemy have a big knight? If, you, if you're if you over 300 KBR and a knight in, in Envy us, let me know. Because clearly I've just missed you. I swear all I see are archers and mages. As, as far as, like, the absolute top players. They, they have other knights, but it seems like the, the majority of their BR is in, is in magic and crit. Um, actually, in in a PvP sense, like I don't like going into group arena without a knight anymore. Uh, so so for me, for PvP, knights are really really nice to have. Here's a tank. I you, you know I I think I attacked one earlier on on accident, but in general, if you're on foot, I don't think it's worth trying to uh, attack tanks unless they're being really really problematic at a tower. Um, if you're on foot and you attack a tank, it, it won't go away, it, like, as in, you know, be destroyed, um, uh, if you defeat it, um, you need your other tanks to take it out, um, uh, if you defeat a player in a tank, um, and, and you're just on foot, or on mount, I guess, um, then, then they will be sent back to spawn, but they, the, the tank won't have been destroyed, so it's really better if other tanks, um, uh, take them out. I think uh, uh, Guardian Towers can also destroy tanks, but it's about getting the tank HP down, uh, not just the, the player HP who's using the tank. So right about at this <laughs> at this fight is uh, where things start to go south. I rushed into this fight thinking that um, I would be claiming a totem, and uh, and I was just a, a bit too late to, to get into a fight. I don't know what I was doing putzing around. Um, uh, before I got in here, some support from Salo, um, which I was hoping would have made things go faster, which I'm sure it did a little bit, but we were just a bit short. Um, as uh, if you see in the in the system chat, it says Envy has obtained 2,000 points. That means they had all five totems. Um, they kind of just did one big totem grab right before the po points came out. Um, which is a really, really good move on their part. Uh, so before they had a little under 8,000 points, and now up in the point section, they're almost up to 10,000. They have uh, 9,942, and we're still at 8,000, whatever we had before. Had we just kept, um, what is it, three totems, um, we would have uh, been able to take the win right there, but um, we just got outplayed a little bit right there. And, um, and there wasn't much we could do. I don't think it helps. Yeah, Robin7 has come online <laughs> that our top archer, who had been protecting a totem, had just um, disconnected, so we lost one there. So just here and there, uh, the totems just got swept up, and and, um, and I think we still had some guardian towers, but um, when the points come out, that isn't as important. Uh, so they did a really nice job um, uh, being able to, to nab those points at the end. So um, I think we get interrupted momentarily, but um, but yeah, this was honestly a, a really really fun guild battle um, or cross server guild battle. Uh, it's nice to have competitive ones. So I do kind of understand the pairing in that sense that you want people to have fun fights. Um, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep that into perspective when you really want big rewards and uh, and, and you want to win, but. Um, but I definitely en enjoyed it. Um, you know, they, they they absolutely deserve deserve to win. Not that my guild didn't. I think we're both really strong, and so um, hopefully we do really well um, in, in the future fights, <laughs> battling it out for God knows what place in Iron Group. Um, but yeah, 
so thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I get some some other good uh, uh, crossover GBs in um, eventually. And so take care.